is melting the wax away. I'm locked. It's olive harvesting season in the hills of the West Bank. The branches heavy with a bumper crop. The Shabanas, an extended Palestinian family, have been at work since shortly after sunrise. Joined by members of an Israeli peace group, rabbis for human rights. Rabbi Yehiel Gremiman probably knows far more about the Torah than he does about olives, but he hopes just by being there, the harvest will be uneventful. Previous olive harvests have been violent. Palestinian farmers say Jewish settlers routinely attacked them and damaged their trees. The settlers accuse the farmers of shielding militants. But really, it all goes back to the heart of this bitter conflict, control of the land. It's hoped that this year the harvest will be more peaceful. In June, the Israeli Supreme Court ruled that the Israeli army, as the occupying force, is obliged to protect local inhabitants. And that, of course, includes these farmers. Israeli soldiers watch from a hillside overlooking the Shabana's olive trees. Here, the harvest went off without incident, just across the valley from the Jewish settlement of Eli. This year it's been calm, Saeed Shabana tells me. This is the first year I'm not afraid. <laughs> Elsewhere, there were problems. A Palestinian medic checks the dressings on Basil Salah, who witnesses say was attacked while picking olives by Jewish settlers wielding metal pipes. The army intervened, temporarily detaining Palestinians. No settlers were arrested. Eric Asherman, coordinator for Rabbis for Human Rights, is cautiously optimistic the soldiers will prevent a larger confrontation. Well, the army has done a better job of preparing this year. They are uh, being more attentive to the needs of Palestinians than they have in past years. Back in the Shabana's olive grove, retired Israeli civil servant Eran Brin is still working away. I cannot talk to them because they don't know Arabic, you know, but we managed to together, you know. And if some Palestinians and Israelis can manage together among the olive branches, that's an accomplishment. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, in the Northern West Bank.